Are we seeing? Are we seeing? We right where we should be at. We are right where we should be at. God is good. God is good. God is good. Sometimes we just gotta look at look at what we should be looking at and know that God is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we just looking around too much and wanting too much. Come out here, help us. But God is good. Yes, it is. All the time. It ain't some of the time, it's all the time. I just thank God for this day, another day's journey. I thank God for the psalmists. I thank God for the musicians and the psalmists that we had that we just added to. Because when you go to a new level, you just add something to it. But yeah. everything else stays the same. Amen. So I thank God for elevating a piece of faith today. See, I knew when I woke up, see, all week long I had this song, and I probably listened to it about 10 times before I got here. And it just basically just said, I know that everything will be all right. I know that everything will be all right. See, there ain't no question in my mind that everything ain't is gonna be all right. I know that everything will be all right. So no matter what my circumstances is, I know that everything will be all right. Hmm. Well, if I was only in my car. Oh, in my own house, right? I know everything will be all right. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all got a word. Y'all got a word. What say of you? Preach the word. Preach the word. Let me say, preach the word. I was happy to hear those words. They let me know I can just come up here and preach. I ain't got to worry about nobody. Yeah. Preach the word. Yeah. Today's title is, Who Am I? Yeah. Who Am I? Yeah. Ever since I watched that movie Overcome, I've just been attached to, Who Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Who Am I? And then as God was pre preparing me for this message, he gave me two things to tell you before we even get started, before you have to put your seatbelt on. He says, your twin is in the way. My God. Oh, Jesus. Your twin is in your way. Oh, no. That's, wow. that's power. Then he said, you have to conquer you to overcome you. That's the truth. Oh, Lord, that is the truth. truth. You got to get that twin out the way. See, I thought me being a Gemini, I was the only one who was dealing with a twin. Come on, come on, come on. But God said, you got to, everybody in here got a twin. Come on, come on. That's in the way sometimes. Yeah. And you got to just move your twin out the way so that you can do what I need you to do. Your twin is in the way. Jesus. I, I was reading a story. It's kind of a sad story. It's about, you know, some people on the boat. And the boat caught fire. And there was a couple of people that was on top of the boat. And there was the rest of them was on the bottom of the boat. And as I was reading the story, something really stood out to me. Because this is something that we got to really start to understand because, for one, even on the boat, they were supposed to have the night watchman. They didn't have it. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was asleep. Mm -hmm. But just so happened, the people that was on top just so happened to see the smoke. Didn't nobody even know the fire was going on. But one part of the story says, it says, waking to an unstoppable fire. The crew members who survived have told investigators they awoke to fire that could not be stopped. Mm -hmm. They awoke to fire that could not be stopped. And 
I said, thank God. I serve a good God. Yeah. Because it ain't no fire in my life that can't be stopped. You better say that. So I ain't got to worry about when I wait that this fire ain't going to be put out if I give it all to Jesus. I said, thank God that I know you. Thank God you changed my life. Thank God you changed my mind. Because I don't have to worry about a fire that couldn't be put out. They said they were trying to grab lavish and it was already on fire. They couldn't even jump out the windows because the fire had consumed the whole building, wow. the whole boat. Some of us got fires in our lives. Wow. Wow. And if we don't start to work on putting that fire out now, wow. when you go to sleep, you're going to wake up and it can't be stopped. Wow. 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 And if y'all just bear with me today, I got a couple of stories, and the stories is very fit. It says a philosopher um, named Kent, it says long, lifelong researcher resolved, I mean, revolved around these four questions. Who am I, what am I, and what can I do, and what can I know? Two of the questions could not be answered. Who am I, and when am I, I mean, and what am I? Those two could be answered. When we think about our lives, it's a lot of questions of who we really are. We can be going to church every Sunday, still confused. Yes. Tell it, Bible tell study, it. praying, fasting, still confused. Tell it, tell it. Out there in the center world, still confused. Because we don't know who we are. Who am I? Who am I? He says Moses asked the question. David asked the question, who am I? Mm. David, we got to remember, he was 15 when he was anointed king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it took 15 years later yeah. for him to get in that position. Uh -huh. But a lot of times we forget about it. he started at birth. Yeah, that's right. So we forgot about zero to 15. <laughs> come on, come on. Then he had to be molded and sculptured. He had to go through a process to get to the first 15 to be anointed. Yeah. Then he had to go through another process to actually get his what was rightfully his. Tell us, tell us. Life is a process. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And if we don't begin to understand that life is a process, we're going to fall short of the glory. Tell us. We're going to be in an unstoppable fire. Because we don't know who we are. Who am I? Deuteronomy 14 and 2 says, For you are a people of holy to the Lord your God. Out of all the peoples on, on the face of the earth, the Lord has chosen you to be his treasure possession. He chose us to be his prized possession. We're going to be reading out of 1 Peter 2, 6 through 10. And as we're going through this lesson, but this is a lesson that we have to start gravitating to the understanding of who we are. We talk about all these things that's going on in society, but a lot of these things is going on because they don't know who they are. Right, right. That's right. They are truly confused with what the world view is and what God's view is. But in 1 Peter 2, 6 through 10, and I'm going to read it, and you can just follow along. It says, for in the scripture it says, see, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And a cornerstone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall they stumble because they disobey the message. Mm. Which is also what they was which is also what they were designed for. For you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, right. a holy nation, mm. God's special possession, mm. that you may declare the praises of him who called you out 
of darkness into the to his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, yeah, once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you receive mercy. Who are you? Who are you? This is a story I want to read to you, and I'm going to slow down so I can make sure that, you know, that I don't say it too fast. But this story was so anointed in my, in, when, in my spirit when I read it, and it basically talked about a bear. And I'm going to, you know, my words, y'all got my little props, so y'all can put something on your mind. But it says, a bear that lived near the king's palace. One day he saw a proclamation posted outside the palace gate. The king was giving a great dinner. Anyone dressed in raw garment are welcome. So you had to be dressed up to go. Now this is a beggar. And we know beggars most of the time is not dressed up. Then it says the beggar went on his way. He looked at the, the rags he was wearing and sighed. Slowly an idea creeped into his mind. He made his way back to the palace. He approached the guard at the gate. Please, sir, I would like to speak to the king. Wait here, the guard replied. In a few minutes, he was brought before the king. What do you want? The king asked. Yes, your majesty. I want so much to attend the banquet, but I have no royal robes to wear. Please, sir, if I may be so bold, if I may be so bold, sometimes we got to come boldly to the throne. Please, sir, if I may be so bold. See, we got to stop being so shy when it comes to God. See, because a lot of us act shy in church, but we don't act shy when we out there in that world. Everybody can identify us there, but nobody can identify you here. Who am I? What am I chosen to be? May I have one of your old garments so that I, too, may come to the bank. He ain't asking nothing new. Yeah. See, you know, we, all, we want something new. Yeah. See, sometimes you want to get something old yeah. to show yourself worthy to get something new. Yeah. Yeah, watch out. So he didn't ask for a new garment. He said, just get one of your olds. I'll take that. Right. That's good enough for me. The beggar was trembling in fear of what the king might do. You have been wise in coming to me, the king said. He called his son, the young prince. Take this man to your room and array him with some of your clothes. The prince did what, his, what he was told, and soon the beggar was standing before a mirror, clothed in a garment that he had never dared even to hope for. <laughs> See, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Uh -huh. I kept saying, I'm going to wait till we get out of the church. I'm going to wait till we get out of the church. And I knew church taking too long. And I've been feeling I need to put on my new garment. Because maybe if I put on my new garment, we'll go to our new building. So I got to put on my
I'm just trying to read the story. I'm just trying to read the story. It says, 
They saw only the little bundle of filthy rags mm -hmm. that he was clinging to mm -hmm. wherever he went. They even spoke of him as the old man with the rags. Wow. Oh, wow. Who am I? Mm -hmm. Many weeks later, as lying, the lion dying, the king visited him. The beggar saw that the sad look on the king's face was he looked, and when he looked at the small bundle of rags by the bed. Suddenly the beggar remembered the prince's words and he realized that his bundle of rags had cost him a lifetime of joy. Oh my God. He cried bitterly at his foolishness to hold on to those old rags. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you today, put your rags to the side. Come on, yeah. Throw your rags in the trash if you need to. Yeah. If you feel like you're going to keep on coming back to them, throw them somewhere, put them somewhere where you can't find them no more. Give to somebody else and say, throw this away. Help me, please. Because God is trying to direct me in the right way, and I keep on falling back to my old rags. I keep falling back into my old ways. Because I don't want to be, I, I want to be selfish. Sorry to tell you that. I want to be selfish and not take the new because I sow like the old. Stop being selfish. Who am I? Who am I? What is my purpose? Any of us ask that question. He says, in order to know who I am and what my purpose is, I must know what kind of person I am. Identify yourself. Your twin is in the way. Verse 9 said, in um, 1 Peter, verse 9 says, but you are chosen. You are the chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you are declared the praise of him who called you out of darkness into a wonderful light. What are God's thoughts of you? Jeremiah said, in Jeremiah 29 and 11 said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saying the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not evil. And give you a future of hope. Thoughts of peace, but not of the world's defined peace. Peace of the mind and the heart. Yes. Peace of God. Thoughts of good and not evil. Not the kind of evil that's sinful and morally, morally wrong. Evil meaning harm or disaster. Yes. That's the evil that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Thoughts of the of, for a future. Future meaning a long for a desirable end. Our assurance of hope is that the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. It's yet to come. The best is yet to come. Sometimes we got to look back, you know, and it was an illustration one one pastor used, and I really liked it, so I, you know, I kind of struggled with it. <laughs> but he was talking about the fact that sometimes we have to look at put ourselves in God's perspective a lot of us have offsprings and when we have offsprings it asks questions it basically says what are your thoughts about your offspring and think of God thinking of us when we think that he ain't being with us what are your thoughts about your offspring it's good that's the same thought process God got yeah. about us. Yeah. Yeah. What are your desires for them? For them to be successful. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same thoughts that he got for us. Yeah. What kind of future do you, in, you did, did you see for them? Bright. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing he got for us. <laughs> yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. So look at us. So instead of always looking at somebody else, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Examine yourself. Yeah. Evaluate right. yourself. Yeah. Is your twin in the way? Yeah. See, my twin, he tries to jump out there every now and then. Sometimes he kind of surprised me. You know how you go the whole night, Woo! I didn't know that was you. <laughs> I, I get up and get thee beside me. <laughs> I, I recognize you now. You, you got me for a minute. You came up behind that closet. But I know my twin. 
I know some of the symptoms of my twin. Yep. I know some of the habits of my twin. Yep. Yeah. See, you got to know your twin yeah. almost better than you know yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because the twin going to try to trick you. Yeah. The twin going to try to scheme you. Yeah. The twin, the twin going to try to bring you down. Yeah. When you're at a high, then they all of a sudden going to start chopping at your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah I got you. That's what your twin gonna do. Uh-huh. You got to start recognizing your twin. Because God. God ain't got those plans that you think he got. You his offspring. He wants you to be successful. Yes. He yes. wants your future to be bright. Yes. So you gotta be good. Amen. Amen. You, you, you good. You, yes, you too is. good. Yes, right. Right. You are too good to me. Right. Psalms 103. Gives us the insight of God's thoughts about our attitude towards us. It says, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, yes. slow to anger, and abiding in love and kindness. Mm -hmm. He will not always strive with us, mm -hmm. nor he will keep his anger forever. Yes. He will not, he 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 has not dealt with us un, according to our sins, mm -hmm. nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great in his loving kindness towards those who fear him, as far as the east to the west, so far that he removes the transgression from us. Just as the father has compassion of his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he himself knows and of our friend. He is mindful that we are not dust, but dust. Who am I? Who am I? Are you still here? Are you living? Or do you have life? Mm -hmm. Are you living? Or do you have life? Mm -hmm. Remember in Genesis 2 and 7 it says, Then the Lord gave form of a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. life. Yeah. And the man became a living being. Are you living or do you have life? What's your roadblocks that's calling you to have life? Because as we all know, it's easy if it's God's will to wake you up in the morning. But it's hard to have life when you got to go to that job that you know that you might not like. Yeah. Or talk to that man or that woman that might have talked, you know, might have said something about you. I might have did something to you. Yeah. Or that one that looked like they ain't going nowhere, but they in your way. Mm -hmm. Do you have life? Yeah. Or are you just living? Yeah. Or are you just living? Yeah. One mind, one body, one soul. Yeah. That's what God wants. Yeah. He wants to breathe life into you. Today's word, who am I? If you identify yourself, you will have life. Amen. God is breathing right now. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is suck it in and allow it to get through, go through your body system. Mm -hmm. And you know oxygen, when it comes in, it gets into your bloodstream. Yeah. And when it gets into your bloodstream, your limbs and everything works a lot better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Breathe mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and stop always breathing. Yeah. Ooh, that's Watch the words that comes out of your mouth. Because yeah. right. yeah. you don't want your words to identify you. Yeah. Because everything that you do identifies you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why we have to live according to God's will. Mm -hmm. We can't say we're trying to save if we ain't saved. Mm -hmm. If you're not a true worshiper, mm -hmm. it's hard to fake it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can come and clap. Dance, but as soon as you leave out that door, you're back to the same old, same old. Help us, help us, help us. Everything just went away. Well, let's stay on a good note. I know everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Identify yourself. Stop hindering yourself. Stop holding those old rags. When you get home, throw away all those old rags. Put on your new one. And walk around your old house, even though you want a new house. 
ride in your old car, even though you want a new car. Yeah. But if somebody just had to give you an old car, right that's running better than your old car, yeah. you better take that old car. Because yeah. it's like a new car. Yeah. Because what God put on you, who can be against you? Yeah. What God put in you, yeah. who can deny you of your rights? Yeah. No police can pull you over. Yeah. No judge can convict you. Yeah. If God said it, it is so. It is so. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hey. 